Hello everyone, this is Tyler coming to you from St. Petersburg. It's August 8th, 2019 here, and I'm about to meet up with a friend of mine from, he's actually from Ghana in Africa. So um, he's a pretty cool guy and he's been living here for about two or three years in St. Petersburg. Um, and he has a very unique story. So um, you guys will enjoy this one. Okay, so I'm here with my friend from Ghana, Patrick, and um, this is him. Okay, I'm here with Pache and tell us a little about yourself. Okay, my name is uh, my name is Patrick Asante Usu from Ghana. Mm -hmm. And I moved to Russia two years ago, first year to study Russian language, and second year to study the main course I'm here for, for my master's program. So. And how long have you been living in Russia for? Um, two years. Okay. For two years now. To be precise, I moved to Russia two years ago, first year to study Russian language, then second year moved to study for my master's at Itmo University. So that's how far I've come. Okay, and give us some detail about your professional background okay. and how, um, and if you've been working and or studying here in St. Petersburg. Okay, so back back in Ghana, I was a, I am still a web developer. Then when I moved to Russia, I was, I was doing remote working for the company back home back in Ghana. Then starting my masters here. I do a little bit of research work, so working with a, with a laboratory in Itmo called Scamped Laboratory. They, they are they much more dealing deal with chemicals, so chemi a chemical laboratory and all those stuff. Okay, and why did you choose to work in this area? Okay, the uh, I didn't choose. It was much more like the project came to follow my lab when I got into the master's program. But it's a collaborated work, so. That's how it's been, so that's it. Okay, and why did you choose to live and study in St. Petersburg over other countries and cities in the world? Um, okay, moving, back, moving to Russia, I, the first place I stayed, I stayed was in Belgrade. The place wasn't that much more of a fun place for, for you to live. So St. Petersburg, aside Moscow, was the main place for me to choose. So. Between the two, I decided to move to Itmo. That's why I'm here. But preferably, I wanted to move to Novosibirsk. Okay. Which is much more colder than here, so. And what's it like being a student at Itmo? Um, it's so much of, the opportunities are vast, and the people are nicer too, so that makes it more unique. And they say it's a non-classical university, so that's the main idea of Itmo. Okay. And where do you see yourself in five years on a professional level? Okay, professional level, I would want to be an ac academician, so probably study for my PhD right after here, so within the five years, that should be what I should be doing, PhD and probably postdoc afterwards. Okay, in, in here in Russia, as a student or worker, do you feel it's necessary to speak Russian? It has a ups and downs. First, the, it depends on the program that you're doing. It wouldn't be necessary, but then there is a basic level of Russian that you would have to study. And knowing Russian is much more better. At least you would be able to move freely. So that's the main level of studying the Russian language. Okay. Is it difficult to obtain a student visa here in Russia, being from Ghana? Um, I can't. Uh, immigration laws, If it, the very moment you apply for it, and you get accepted, it's much more easier because you already have the invitation letter to move here. So that's, that's how easy it could be to get a student visa here. 
Okay. And we had kind of touched on this, but what's it like studying in Russia as someone from Ghana and also Africa? And do you feel respected by your co colleagues? Um, the educational style is different. It is much, it's much more practical than back in Ghana. Because back in Ghana, it's much more about the theory, you studying and writing exams. That was the main thing. But in Russia, you, have, you would have to put in the work, solve the issues, submit it, get passed, and then that's how easy it could be. So that's the main thing. Okay. okay. In Russia, do you feel like there's workplace discrimination? Not really. Okay. But I think probably in almost every you know almost every community there's a little bit of discrimination. So okay, it's okay. And on a personal level, do you feel like there's, there's discrimination being from Ghana? No, no. Okay. I, I haven't experienced anything of such, but everybody's welcoming. Okay. That's why I work, so it's okay for me. Ian, what is the cost of St. Peter's like compared to Ghana? Um, oh, it's very difficult to say because much more things are changing. So economic wise and currency exchange probably changes everything for you. So I think for that I have no clear okay. knowledge of it. So. And do you prefer doing projects that you're do you prefer doing workplace projects with Russians or international people? Everybody is welcome, so okay, that's the main side of it. Um, what's an interesting or no? Um, just, um, what is your favorite and least favorite thing about living in Russia? Hmm. My favorite thing is the weather. Okay. The least thing is the weather too, but sometimes okay. it could get so much cold and you feel. You would feel it so, you feel it so bad, but aside that, it's okay. Okay. And what are useful tips that would make it easier for a foreign person living and um, studying or working in Russia? You should know basic Russian. Okay. That's <laughs> rule number one. Okay. Aside that, the majority of them are friendly, so you wouldn't have any strange thing here. So. Okay. Um, well, thank you and... Hello, this is me again. Um, yeah, I just finished um, up my meeting with the, that guy. He's, he's a cool guy, Paul. He's from from Ghana. I'll post his Instagram and his um, other contact info in my um, channel below. Um, but it's always interesting how much there is to learn from the perspective of someone coming from from Africa and more specifically from Ghana. It's it's such a um, unique part of the world and. For me, both Ghana and Russia are so different on many levels from my country, America, and I, I learned so much from from these guys. And um, it's uh, he, he's a real smart guy. We exchange uh, stories and just um, learn from each other's uh, experiences here in uh, Russia. Um, so you guys will enjoy his um, his commentary and his. Um, the Q&A that I did with him earlier on his experiences here in St. Petersburg.